Eve's barnside chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today. Chickens, pigs, and cows, and goats. We've got plenty more farmed animals, big and small. All for love and love for all. Welcome to Eve's Barnside Chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's Barnside Chat. Our mission is to inspire kindness and compassion for farmed animals everywhere. You can help us take action by volunteering or through donations. Or visit our store and check out our website to learn more. Welcome to Eve's Barnside Chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's Barnside Chat. Hello, friends! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to another episode of Heath's Barnside Chat. My name is Derek, and my partner in crime, Steve, is going to be joining us very soon. I hope he had to step off the property for some morning banking uh, to do for the sanctuary. So uh, I'm expecting him to pull in the driveway anytime soon, and hopefully he'll be gracing us with his presence. It is cold out! I have a tear running down my cheek from the wind. The uh, the wind is up today. The sun is bright today, but it is chilly. We hope you're having a wonderful day wherever in the world you're tuning in from. We look forward to doing these live Monday Barnside chats for you to keep you up to speed on everything that is sanctuary related. And uh, we uh, are happy to see everybody here. Please let us know where in the world you're tuning in from. Uh, put the comments below. In the field, I can see them for right now. Hello, Megan from Arizona. Hello, Lee. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Karen. It's so good to see everybody today. I've got to put my glasses on. The side glare is causing my eyes to drip and water. Um, so we hope that uh, you're having a wonderful day. I know you look forward to these moments, and as do we. And we're going to give you all of the latest updates that are happening around the farm. Remember, remember, if you have a question, you can put it in the comment feed below, and we will try to answer as many questions as we can. Um, but I also have Steve's magic rainbow bag here, which is full of last week's questions uh, and there are a lot of questions to cover. So uh, we may be able to take some questions out of the comment feed below if we see something that sparks our interest. Um, but if, it's, uh, if we don't answer your question today, don't worry, we will get to it. Um, the questions will be put into the bag for next week. We have uh, kind admins that keep this, you know, that they keep this feed a safe space and uh, they take all of the questions that they think are appropriate for the barnside chat or the fireside chat and then they email them to us. Oh my goodness. I know this says it's tonight, but it was actually the, uh, this past weekend we had the Home for the Holidays Experience box. And uh, we made handmade ornaments and, uh, and or gift tags that we made. And one of the items that was received during the Home for the Holidays Experience box, uh, you can see it's in that red box, and it is an ornament of the design, the hex design that's on the front of the barn here behind me. Um, everybody got a tree ornament, and I think that's going to become everybody's everyday ornament. Yeah, right behind me. Oh, 
I always get messed up with the way that uh, the camera's showing. Right here on my fingertip is the hex design, and we had that made into a glass ornament for everybody that partook in that experience box. So I'm gonna just roll a quick reel here. There, oh, I'm lost in time, where am I? I'm gonna roll a quick video clip of some of the things, the highlights that happened during the experience box. The kitchen got trashed, absolutely trashed. <laughs> we, uh, we had an unexpected visitor as well. So here's just a quick highlight reel. Hello friends! Hello, hello, hello! We hope you can <laughs> see us. We hope you can hear us. Come and some... Uh, some oatnog? Some oatnog! Yeah, check that out. O Earth's own oatnog. Uh -huh. He's got uh, his dry ingredients and his wet ingredients are now coming together in a marvelous, harmonious batter. Is this to my dream, right? I don't know. Chef Linda, is she, she, chef, is she furiously uh, typing uh, yeah, down there? Chef, we've got some crafting to do. We've got some crafting to do. It's craft time. Let's make some holiday gifts. Oh, dear. Hold on to your hat. They're not ready yet. They're, not, they're, they're not ready yet. Oh, no. Okay. I know. We've got equipment everywhere here, lady. This is not a good time. This is not a good time. She says, why not? Hello, Daddy. Why Hello, not? This is why can't this be a special Thanks. You got me? Right. This is not a great time. <laughs> Wait, your daddy's not This is not a great time. Hey. Come on. Come on. Let's come and get a treat. Hi, baby. Come and get a treat. And we'll come to sit back Hi, down. Girl. Don't forget to dust your cupcake wine bottle. Oh. Double trouble. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, that's always yeah. my favorite thing. All right. So really? tell people what we got here, Stevie. Well, I don't even have opened it. Well, I, I mean, but. <laughs> this is the coin. This is the coin that we've done since the very first box. And who is on this? Hang on, let me get her out. So you can see better because it will be shiny. We got a collectible coin. Every box has come with a collectible coin. This will make it the third coin in the set. And this one, I'm so. It's only the third. It feels like we've done more. No, I think it's the third. Yeah. Let's Check her out. And we've got uh, books. Sorry, we're both. There we are. There ah, she is. La, la. Oh, oh, wait. Oh. Hey, there's a small delay. There we go. It's messing up. Oh, no. no. <laughs> we don't need that much help. No, not that much. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Well, come on, give me some cookies, please. That is going this way. See, come on, give, don't give me some cookies. Oh, she's coming around fast and she furious. She is fast and furious. She is coming around fast and furious. So what do you think of that tag, folks? So there's one, one gift tag. There's enough here that you can make 10 gift tags. Uh, do me a favor, hold up your tag. The experience box was an awesome time. I hope you enjoyed the little highlight reel uh, that was put together there. 
Uh, it's holiday magic season. We can't believe it. It is crazy that this year has blown by and um, we are right in the midst of our largest fundraiser and it's our most important fundraiser and it assures that all of the residents here are going to have the best year possible. Um, going into 2022, uh, we need to raise $450,000 in order to pay for feed, medical care, and shelter. And that seems like a huge, daunting task. And let me tell you, it is. But when we have friends that we're surrounded by that want this place to succeed, um, it is, uh, we're going to chip away at this a little bit at a time. And we're going to get there. Um, our goal to date, so I, I have a goal, or I have a, how much money we have raised uh, to date so far, and here we go, drum roll, drum roll for the big total, and the big total is $18,256.99, that's how much money is raised last week, we are so thrilled, $18,000, that is a lot of money, and we still have a long way to go. So here's what we're going to do for today. Today is Match Monday, my friends, and we are matching all donations dollar for dollar up to $5,000, so don't hesitate. Head on over to happilyeverester.ca and click on Donate, or you can click on the Holiday Magic Shop, and uh, you can find all different ways to give virtually. You can have virtual gifts given to the farm. Uh, there are secret Santa letters that each resident has wrote and they are looking for your love and support somebody's secret santa letter that we didn't have last week we have cornelius's secret santa letter and of course he's the chief security turkey and he is looking for security equipment if you could believe that and captain dan my gosh captain dan is looking for support to put in a walk-in cooler he says he's been a very good boy this year just ask anyone i think captain dan's been a good boy this year $450,000 is what we need to raise, and we have to do it before the end of this year. All of that money, dollar for dollar, every dollar raised, will go for medical care, feed, and shelter. And again, that is going to go to the 2022 budget in order to operate Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary. So... It's a tall order, but we're going to get there. We have lots of exciting events that we need to talk about. Um, and there are, such as, um, such as the cow pie bingo. And there's going to be a wonderful raffle that we're going to tell you about. And then there are some live events that were just a real hit last year that we're absolutely going to be doing them again this year. Coming up this Tuesday, Tuesday, not tomorrow Tuesday, but next week is Giving Tuesday. And we have a goal where we're looking for 50 people, 50 supporters to raise $50 through a Facebook fundraiser on November the 30th. Set up a fundraiser right up on your Facebook profile. If you don't know how, here are step-by-step -step instructions. Um, and there is the address, happilyeverester.ca backslash fundraiser hyphen club. We really need your support. This is a peer-to-peer -peer campaign, and it's great uh, to expose your friends to everything that the sanctuary is up to. And we really need your support coming up on Giving Tuesday. Don't forget, today we are doubling. We are matching all donations dollar for dollar up to $5,000. That's for Secret Santa gifts, virtual gifts, one-time donations, new monthly donor sign-ups. Visit the Holiday Magic Shop right away. Oh my gosh, so many screens to touch here. Uh, we have, oh yeah, I've got a short video. I'm gonna, well actually, no, that's not the short video. Um, a couple of the projects this year that we are raising funds for um, are a new coop, actually two coops, but Jesus, Jerry, and Joseph are asking for one of the coops. Uh, they think it's pretty crowded in their coop right now and they are looking for more space and so we're raising funds for the coop for them and that's part of the holiday magic fundraiser also let's get into some questions i haven't answered any questions i've been rambling on here let's see if we can get a few questions out of the question bag question number one how often does corno's uh, apd have to be changed so that's his accident prevention device uh, it has to be changed three or four times a day good question 
Next question. Uh, can the sheep and pigs get what Angelo has? Uh, yes. Um, the sheep definitely can. The pigs, good question. I will have to look into that. That's a question from Honor. Um, and Angelo has a disease called CL. And if you watch Andrea's Bear Care Healthcare Corner, uh, you will see uh, Andrea talking about Angelo for sure. Do the cows have indoor shelter? Uh, should they want it? Yes, they do, Lynn. Good question. They absolutely do. And we are building another shelter for them right now. So they'll have two options. We have uh, shelters in each of the fields. Can we get an update on Oksana from Susan? Oksana is doing wonderfully. She has made so many friends. She is sleeping in the barn every night. Um, she does have a crack on one of her hoofs that has resurfaced and the healthcare team is lifting her up, I believe daily for bandage changes. So uh, they are busy working with Oksana. She is really, really, really uh, quite a character. And to see her, uh, the other day I was in the barn and it was Captain Dan and the redheads, so Abigail, Tammy, Jolene, and Fiona were all sleeping in stall number two, and uh, in came in came Oksana, and uh, she was trying to boss her way into a bed, and everybody held their bed down, but there was a lot of moaning, um, and she eventually just laid down beside everybody. So she's doing wonderfully. Good question. Will you do Winter Wonderland videos around Heath accompanied by music? Why, yes, probably we will do that. Uh, great question. Uh, we love to make small snippet videos of everything that is happening around the farm, and we love to show you uh, all of the changes that are happening around the farm. Um, some meetings are happening right now about the final placement of all of the security video cameras, which are also uh, which can also detect fire. And uh, here are some of the locations where the indoor cameras will go, so we can see all, we can see all, hear all, and all of uh, those cameras are hooked right back up to our cell phones, so we'll be able to tell if there is a problem. <laughs> That's right, there is a new resident on the farm. There's a new resident on the farm, and they are living in this coop right behind me. This is Dolly's house. And uh, there's a new resident, and I'm sure you heard about her on Andrea's Healthcare Corner, and she is going to be showing you a little bit more of this individual as time goes on. So we look forward to introducing you to that new resident. It is so cold today, the pipe heaters are going to need to go on soon, um, and all of the water trough heaters will be needing to go on soon. It's a very expensive time of year. The hydro bills are the most expensive this time of year. Uh, that's because all of the heat lamps and heat sources that are on in order to keep everything thawed out and working. Friends, don't forget it's Match Monday. And today we're matching all donations dollar for dollar up to 5,000. Please head on over to the website and give generously. No donation is too small. $5 will help us buy a, a tube of polysporin. Uh, Five dollars will feed one pig, but you can give more than that, and there are generous uh, ways to give um, through, uh, there are secret Santas and virtual gifts, which we will email you a downloadable and printable certificate the second that you donate, and you can print that off and you can give that to somebody uh, this time of year, or you can frame it up for yourself and know that you've done a good job and a good deed at helping all of the residents here at the farm. Uh, other ways you can help out is by going to the Happily Ever Esther store and by purchasing the 2022 calendar. Here is beautiful calendar girl Gladys. And uh, you can get those. Those are shipping out worldwide. We ship out all around the world. We hope you'll head on over to the store and you can check out the physical items that we can ship to you or you can check out the virtual items as well. Don't forget to join us this Thursday at 5 p.m. for some exciting holiday magic announcements, and that's at the Fireside Chat. The Fireside Chats have returned, and Andrea and Kevin are taking the wheels on that, and it's going to be a continuation and an extension of their healthcare corner and also the uh, This Old Barn segment. So we're looking forward to that. If you have a question, please, 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 please add to the questions. I have only a few more questions here. Uh, that I can answer and these will be for next time because I'm going to leave you with a video I'm going to leave you with a video. We hope that you have a wonderful day um, Please know that we are counting on you and this fundraiser 
We really need everybody's help to come together so we can get our funding all together for next year. Friends, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming out today. We really enjoy this time with you coming out to the Barnside Chats. My name's Derek, and Steve Jenkins, my partner in crime, will be joining us next time. Thank you so much, friends. See you later. Bye-bye. So here we are in the vegetable garden, and the vegetable garden this year, it really turned a huge, bountiful harvest, and uh, it of course required a lot of work and a lot of you friends were working on this during the season it's all closed up right now there's actually a small work group here today and they've put down landscaping fabric um, to prepare for spring so that when it does come time to seed them that there are not too many weeds to deal with every bit of produce that we were able to produce in this garden area uh, meant that we didn't have to purchase it at the grocery store and uh, i know you are familiar with the grocery store prices and they have just gone up and up and up and up and now that we are off season uh, we're spending a lot of money on groceries so part of our plan for the next few years is to discover ways that we can be more efficient with our garden and also have a hoop house for growing um, so we can extend the growing season and then perhaps look at some indoor growing solutions such as shipping containers that have been converted into vertical grow spaces or there have also been some ideas flouted around about using the main barn attic as the space for growing but that sounds like a far a far-fetched idea for the moment but we want to share all of the ideas that are coming out to let you know that we are constantly thinking about ways that we can cut the costs, cut the bills, and be more self-sufficient. So we're going to head on out. This is the north road. And one of the biggest projects that we worked on this year and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to all of the time and people power and the effort and the sweat, blood, and tears. Okay, they were just my tears. But this area back here along the North Road is now open to the pigs. And as I say that it's now open to the pigs, there are no pigs in the woods. But check out this space. Check out the straight fencing. The fencing is just amazing in this space. This was like a triple black diamond difficult space for fencing and difficult to prepare for the residents but now we have some of the strongest fencing electrical on the bottom the fence posts still on the top need to be trimmed off but this whole space now is accessible to sammy well i'll come in there in a minute to sammy and his herd and next spring this whole space here will be opened up and across to the next section, which I'm about to show you. We had a lot of campfires. So in this wooded area behind me here, the, uh, the new pig area, when the arborists were here cutting down the trees, um, we had no idea the mess that it was going to create. And we had no idea just how many trees were going to be involved with the cleanup. And when they were done and we came out, I was like, oh my gosh, Steve, we, what are we gonna do? And uh, we just had to take it apart one piece at a time. Um, 
we had them do all the dangerous work and that's falling all of the trees and making sure that all of the dead trees are out of the way so that the residents have safe passage everywhere um, and also the neighboring trees along the fence lines making sure that they are in good health so the arborist they did all of the dangerous work that's a special skill set falling trees in a way to make sure that everybody is safe so once they were on the ground while you guys were here helping us turn it into mulch and we had a lot of fires oh there's denver and pody hello denver so coming up the road up the top we can see the next space that you helped us out a tremendous amount of effort went into this space and here we have the new site to the pig barn or another animal barn. I'm sure there will be different animals in it from time to time, but this is going to be primarily for the pigs. There are three big stalls in this space. It has front road access. It has trailer access. Um, and now we just have to finish building it. The framers, whom were here last week, made a tremendous uh tremendous uh, paces forward here on this barn um and this barn was paid for in part by the holiday magic fundraiser last year and because of covid um everything's because of covid <laughs> um because of delays with materials and delays with finding um skilled help with carpentry um we're at this stage of the game we would have liked to have a roof on it and have liked to have the pigs over in it this season um but uh i have to let go of my perfectionist fantasy on that one the pigs have lots of space over there they have all of that new space and they're going to winter in place in their barn that is located in pasture seven and they will get this next spring so we're going to plug away at this barn that's behind me and by the end of next week it will be completely framed in and then maintenance and facilities team they are going to use board and batten and uh, complete the exterior finishes it will get a soft stall flooring which is already here it's the black mats see those black gym mats there so that's the soft stall flooring that goes down on the ground and then a big really thick soft rubber membrane gets stretched out over top of that soft uh over that soft padding and it's actually called stable comforts flooring and it's not cheap um but none of this what's about this place comes at a cheap price so here we have the fencing that crosses the road from the new pig forest. So we're calling it forest number two. And it comes down this hallway. And then these double green gates here line up with these double green gates here and provide hallway access across to this space, which has also had a tremendous amount of effort gone into clearing it, cleaning it up, burning it, removing dangerous things removing rocks man this place has a lot of rocks a lot of thorn bushes everybody's got puncture wounds we can tell who has worked here everybody's fingertips have got puncture wounds on them from all of the thorns so all of these new areas these two new areas um add up to double the space for what sammy and his herd have pigs have had. So uh, that's a tremendous amount of effort to double their space. And we could not have done that uh, without, without you. All we need is a place to be and a few good friends for some company. If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave. We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked If you drop on by, you don't have to knock We're happy to share whatever we've got